Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a very Monster Legends video. Uh, we're going to be talking about my top five least favorite monsters in Monster Legends. Uh, now before I begin, this actually used to be a top ten video, but I felt like the first five monsters were just kind of nitpicky stuff, uh, so I just kind of made this a top five video. Uh, and talk more so about the top five book, uh, <laughs> monsters, uh, the, the top five monsters that I didn't like a lot because of actually really specific reasons, or like besides like nearly nitpicky stuff. Uh, these are the top five monsters I really don't like uh, in Monster Legends. It ranges from a variety of things, from moves or just like a whole bunch of other reasons. These are the top five monsters I do not like in Monster Legends. I just don't, uh, I just don't like them or like, or these, these are monsters like irritate me or like, I don't like facing them. I don't like do, I, like it's, they just irritate me. Uh, and all that jazz. Uh, these are just top five monsters I don't like. Uh, and you're probably wondering why I'm not doing my first top uh, five or ten video on the things that I do like. Uh, I just felt like, why not start with the things I don't like? Uh, I'm going to just soften the blow with things I do like af immediately, I mean, you know, after and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these are top five monsters I do not like. Uh, coming in at number five. Shoo. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, let me explain this. Okay, not many people actually use this uh, monster. Uh, she who is a reference to like the Chinese god uh, Wukong and stuff like that. You know, like uh, he's got like the flying cloud. It's also kind of makes a reference to Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I I don't like this monster uh, simply because I I've seen this too many times in video games. I've literally seen too many char playable characters or just characters in games that just reference this this. Uh, this god there are other gods i don't know why this one in particular needs to be referenced in every single game uh there's literally like a bunch of months like a literally, literally a bunch of characters that references a uh, god uh or like you know the uh, goku from dragon ball z or you know like the nimbus cloud it's just, just too much it's too much common stuff uh it's in like a legends and it's in smite i just see it all the time it's, it's not fun <laughs> it's not fun seeing this reference over and over again I do like to see different gods being referenced, like, uh, even though, uh, obviously, like, there are other gods being referenced, but not as referenced as uh, Wukong and stuff like that. There's just too many monsters being referenced by that. Uh, as for as far as moves and stats go, its stats aren't that great, and I feel like its moves actually hurt it rather than support it. Uh, this is not a very good monster. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it for that one. Uh, so coming in at number four, Darmus Pet. All right, so you're probably wondering... Why do I hate this guy? Uh, I'll give a very good example of why I hate this guy. Uh, now, this guy was actually the very first monster to come out in the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, team shop. He was the very first general pet to come out. Uh, I thought he'd be really great. I thought his moves would be great. Uh, you know, everybody was really excited for this guy. People spent 2.2k on this guy. And then they realized, it's terrible. The moves are you know, it's it's your basic, uh, it's your basic, okay, this is why I don't like it, it's your basic, it's a basic fire monster, it's nothing special, it, it, it's just the staple point of, like, what a fire monster does, it's like an attacker, it doesn't do anything special, it does AoE burning, and a, you know, like a damage buff, everything it does is flat damage, uh, like, just straight up, it's best damage is single target damage, uh, I think it has, like, a 45 or 40 AoE, uh, but in all honesty, it's not a great monster. It's not a. It's not. It's not a good monster. Uh, you think that like the like with the pets and stuff like that, they'd like the first one would be like really good and stuff like that. It'd be able to stand up with like its general and stuff like that. It doesn't. It's not. <laughs> uh, if like obviously, if you chose between uh, Darmus pet or General Darmus, a um, hundred percent. Most of the time, it's gonna be everyone's gonna be choosing Darmus himself because Darmus is way better. Uh, a whole bunch of fire monsters are way better than. Uh, he doesn't do any debuffs. Real, besides burning, he doesn't do really any debuffs. It's not fun. It's not a fun monster. Uh, Rackhorn has. A, I think he has like an AOE daze, or like I think that was the case, or AOE burning, or like they. There are fire monsters that do other stuff too, besides just burning and damage. Uh, Ost uh, uh, Mega Ostium does like the self buff. He has like double damage. Uh, I think it's like his precision and stamina refill too. That's amazing. Darmuth, him Darmuth himself has a da double damage buff, reduced damage, uh, you know, AOE buff. He, he, he can do a bunch of things. Uh, this monster can't. Uh, this monster doesn't. This monster literally doesn't do all that amazing stuff. He has this like a single damage boost. Uh, it doesn't. It's not double damage. It's a single damage boost. Uh, and then he just does 
uh, a, it has a really good uh, special damage move, I think. I think it's like a one turn cooldown, but uh, honestly, all the other turn, all the other monsters, uh, all the other fire monsters can do that shit. Mega Osteum has a spammable one. Why are you using this guy instead of Mega Osteum? Why are you using this guy instead of General Dormith? Uh, well, obviously you can, like, obviously you like him. Again, uh, use the monsters you like. Uh, but there's just way better options. Uh, I also don't like the fact that his ult kills himself. It's literally a suicide ult. Uh, how is that useful in Team Wars? It's not useful in Team Wars. It's good when you're using it on a defending team, maybe, but it's not good uh, when on the attacking team. And people use this on the attack. It's not a good special. It's not a good ult. Uh, you lose a coin if you use it. It's, uh, it's absurd. <laughs> you want to try and get all three coins. You don't want to sacrifice your monster to get two. It's just, yeah, it's, it's not worth using. Uh, there's just way too other stuff that's better than it, uh, in terms of, like, self-buffs and stuff like that. Uh, granted, like, attackers usually just, like, like, focus specifically on damage, uh, you know, like, but they, they can do other stuff, too. It's, this monster just doesn't do other stuff. This guy do is a basic fire monster. He does damage, but he doesn't do anything else. He's, that's, that's all he does is, like, he has an AoE burning, uh, you know, he's got, a, you know, the, the strong AoE, uh, damage boost. That's it. It's just a straight. That's it's just plain. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's it's just yeah. <laughs> it's that. It's it's a plain fire monster. It's not amazing. In fact, most of the general pets, save for like Nishan's pet, uh, have really not proven themselves to be any better than the generals themselves. Uh, Autumn's pet is just basically a fast Osteo class. That's basically all it is. Uh, and he's got like shields too, and he's got he's it's kind of like a mixture of like shields, and like a small damage return from like Atum, but that's it. Like he's he's pretty much a mixture of, uh, Osteo class and Atum, and it just doesn't look great. It's not a pretty monster. It's not a, it's not a good outcome. I love the mon I, I I like I mean like I like him. He's a great monster, but he's not any better than Osteo class or is he, nor any better than, uh, General Atum himself. I I'd, I'd rather use Atum over the pet. I'd rather use Thady over her pet. Uh, Nishan's pet, I'd rather use Nishan's pet over General Nishan himself, uh, but it really, Nishan's pet is really the only monster thus far really worth using over the other, like, like the counterpart, the original counterpart, like the General themselves, uh, and that's the end of the discussion with that, uh, with that monster, uh, in particular, uh, yeah, that's, that's literally all there is, uh, is to that monster, uh, just straight up, uh, we're gonna talk about number th three now, uh, Okay, this next monster actually used to be at my number two, but uh, there's another monster that replaced that uh, with this bot. Uh, the third monster I do not like the most is Griffin. <laughs> my number three monster, Griffin. All right, so I actually... It's not the fact that I don't like its move. It's not the fact that I don't like its stats. Uh, it's a phenomenally great monster, in fact. It's a, it's, a, it's just a wonderful damage dealer. Uh, he had, I think he has like a zero... It was either a one-turn cooldown or a zero-turn cooldown 70 damage uh, single-target move. It's a wonderful monster. Uh, he's got an AoE blind. He's got AoE 40 damage. Uh, he's got... Um, again, he's got a lot of single-target damage. He's got a lot of damage with the blind. That's really nice. Uh, I hate this monster because, like... Starting out in uh, Monster Legends, this would actually be the thing I hate fighting the most. I only had, like, Lord Mammoth at the time, uh, so it's like a water legendary, a really slow water legendary against this stupid fast bird uh, that does a shit ton of damage to everybody. Uh, he, he, he wrecks shit early game. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll destroy your world and stuff like that early game uh, if you're not prepared to fight it. Uh, he's just a really high-end damage dealer, and there's nothing I could do about it. He, this That thing was just literally... I, I couldn't do anything about it. It was really fucking annoying. I hate the fucking bird. Uh, every time I, I, I literally make jokes about it, like, oh, God damn, another fucking bird. Fucking birds. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I do a few jokes about it. I at least make a reference to, like, a video I watched, like, uh, like Angry Joe. There was, like, a video on Angry Joe. Uh, he's, like, a game reviewer. He, he did one on, like, Umbrella Corpse, and, it, like, and he, there was a bird segment. It was just funny as shit. Uh, I usually make a reference to that uh, because I could literally do nothing about that. Uh, do nothing about Griffin and stuff like that. Uh, and he just did. And he just destroyed. He destroyed everything. He just always destroys stuff. Uh, I have him now myself. Uh, I will actually use him, uh, even though I, I have bad memories of him. I'm not saying I don't like the monster himself. I just saying I just don't. I I have bad memories with him. Uh, I hate I hate him. I, I it's like a it's an okay slash I hate you relationship really. Uh, 
I hated fighting this thing. I, I just hated it. I hated it so much. Uh, just a bad experience. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is next up, uh, number two. Uh, this, uh, yeah, um, a lot of people use this monster. Uh, if you're, like, really huge fans of this monster, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna say it. Um, General Thetes. Now you're probably thinking, oh, Dib, why are you hating on General Thetes? She's the best denier in the game. Uh, she's got that AOE, uh, you know, everyone's stamina is removed. That's exactly why I fucking hate that monster. Uh, that's the, that's literally the exact reason why I hate General Thetes. All right, so it's not that hard using. Uh, okay, every t okay, I, I actually have this monster. I have her in storage. I don't think I'm ever gonna use her, uh, because she's basically a monster that if you use, it's you might as well be playing the box. It's her control is just too broken. And it's too stupid, and it's too easy to get out of the negative effects. And here's why. Um, all right, so. Thetis has the move called Stamina Devourers. Everybody knows this move. Everybody's been in a fight. Everybody's been, like, tormented by this thing. This thing is literally on a lot of teams. You just see it way too often. Uh, it's just really... It's a really powerful denier because she, what she does is she literally... Again, I explained it uh, before, too. Uh, she literally takes up all of her stamina, but she takes your whole... Mo everyone, every single your monsters... Lose all their stamina too. You literally are running with no stamina. You literally have to take the turn to charge. And keep in mind, she, the enemy has two other monsters. They can deny you. They can freeze you. They can stun you. They can possess you still. They have full stamina. They can do shit. They're not stunned. They don't have to be worried about being stunned anymore because you have no stamina. You might as well be dead at that point. You won the game at that point. If you're a player, if you're a player using General Thetes and you use that on the first turn, they might as well be dead because they're just going to deny them or kill them or do any. They can't do anything. They they're literally done. That's it's just stupid. <laughs> it's really stupid. There's a lot of ways to get around. Uh, granted, there some people will probably say in the comments that there are ways to get around General Thetes, uh, but more often than not, uh, on the first turn she actually does stamina drop power first. Uh, I have had times where she doesn't do it, but more often than not, you'll go into a game and she does do that first. She will do the deny first. Uh, granted, there are, like, situations where she's not as bad, where, like, the ones where you can, like, just literally just, if you have high enough speed runes, you don't have to worry about her, but more often than enough, you will worry about her, and people are actually walking around with a level 130 monsters, uh, of this monster, uh, and it's disgusting, and you will, you will literally die, uh, it, you know, I've seen, like, a Thedes with, like, a, with, like, a, uh, at least a million, uh, a million speed or something, I think it was either a million, I can't remember, uh, I, I can't remember the speed count or something like that. I, I don't know the exact speed, uh, but it's, it, it goes on beyond. It goes beyond the normal speed. It was just a really. Fa it's just like fast. Uh, I'd say I'd say at least ten thousand speed. Yeah, it's ten ten thousand speed. Uh, that's really disgusting. Uh, and it was a little. It was a bit a little bit higher than that. Uh, you know, just a, a few hundreds uh, extra. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you know, that's a, that's stupid speed. Uh, she doesn't have to, the, the Thetis doesn't have to worry about, like, the, the cooldown thing because she'll be getting, like, two or three turns uh, to recover that anyway. Uh, so even at that point, she's still doing shit uh, to you. Uh, it is really unfair. You might as well be playing the box at that point. Uh, there's really no, there's really no way of getting around General Thetis uh, when, when she's doing the AI and stuff like that. She is kind of AI idiot proof because she, she usually does the AoE stamina drain first. Uh, if not, she will eventually do it. I will say that much. If you don't get rid of General Thetes right away, and she doesn't do the stamina drain right away, uh, and you haven't killed her yet, you, that's a problem. Uh, you should do it right away. Uh, knock out that Thetes straight away. Uh, don't don't. Me if you're actually going to go into a fight, uh, you you have to you have to you have to do straight up. You have to be sure for sure you can take her out. Uh, and you're you're risking the fact too because she has the 35% less. Uh, uh, debuff accuracy and stuff like that. You're you're gambling on the idea. That you're actually gonna stun her, or like you're gonna kill her that first turn, uh, that ro first row of turns. You're gonna you're, you're basing the idea that you will you will for sure take out Thetes. You need to take out Thetes at that point. Uh, debuffs also kind of don't work on her too much because like at, at least late later in the game, uh, where like the the second turn start to happen or like the three turns because you're you're so fast and stuff like that. Uh, so you do just kind of want to burst her down right away, like straight up. You don't want to, you don't want to just waste your time too much on it, uh, uh, later on in the fights or something like that when she starts moving around twice as, like, she gets more turns in because she's really fast. You want her, you want her dead right away. Uh, 
And that's why I hate her so much, because I, I literally go into games, and I literally lose the game, because I was AoE stamina drained. That's literally the that's the stupidest shit ever. Uh, I use a uh, Kaelic a lot, and she has, like, an AoE freeze and stamina drain. They, again, they might as well be dead. I won the game at that point. They can't do anything. They're not allowed to move. I, I freeze them. I stun them. They can't move. They can't do anything. Uh, by the time they're done getting frozen, they have to recharge. Uh, it's basically a mega stun. You're basically mega stunning. It's just disgusting. It's not fair, and it's just... No, it's not cool. In fact, if there was like a one, like there was like a like a huge nerf update where a bunch of monsters got nerfed, I really wouldn't mind if that was the move that got nerfed, like the the, the top move, like just straight up. If that was the top move that got nerfed, I'd like to see uh, Thede's, uh move nerf. It's just too powerful of a move. Uh, it's just I'm surprised they haven't nerfed it. I'm I'm surprised like the creators of the game haven't like this. That monster's probably been out for years, uh, and they haven't nerfed it. They don't they don't see the problem with it. Uh, they don't see how broken it is. Uh, I, I don't know if they ever noticed it, but it is pretty broken. <laughs> it's just too powerful. It's too strong. Uh, granted, you you might say, oh, even if I even when I get uh, stamina drained, uh, dib, you, I can still get my ult. Uh, yeah, that's a really small chance though. Uh, and are you actually gonna get? Are you actually gonna risk a game to actually do that? Are you actually gonna go in a game, get stamina devoured, and hope for the fact that you actually get your ultimate? Do you really want to do that? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's general theories. Um, if, if you guys are, if you guys are going to like say that she is balanced or something like that, uh, go ahead. Uh, or like, you know, just to say she's not that bad. Just, she is really bad. Uh, that's my stance on it. She is really bad. She does need twerking a bit. Uh, if I would settle for 75%, uh, 75% stamina or maybe like 50% stamina, uh, just not all the stamina, because if you take all the stamina, the, the game's over at that point. They can't even use the single target move, uh, which doesn't even do enough damage to begin with, or, like, depends on the situation, I guess, but, like, you're literally not giving them a chance. Literally, the whole point of a, you know, a game is to actually, like, rotate turns and stuff like that. Uh, if you just instantly win, it's not a fun game. At that, it's not a fun game. It's, there's no chance you will miss or like. I, more often than not, that move actually hits more than it misses. I, I swear that move never misses. Uh, the, the stamina drain never misses. Every time I go into game, it always hits. It's always a thing. Uh, but yeah, that's why I hate General Thetes is because she's really broken. She's unbalanced pretty much. Uh, she's just a, she's. I I would think she's almost just as bad as this next monster I'm gonna talk about. Uh, Number one for least favorite monsters in League uh, Monster Legends. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this monster is my most hated monster. Uh, it may not be a surprise to you if you ever watched any of my streams. It's Voltic. Voltic, I hate this fucking monster. Out of all the monsters in this fucking game, I hate this fucking monster the most. Uh, this, uh, warning, this is excessive. Uh, this is going to be some excessive uh, swearing right here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hate this monster. This monster is literally... I hate this monster. This straight up. I, I'm going to keep saying it several times because this thing moves several times. This move can move any time, like a whole bunch of times. Uh, I fucking hate it. 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 Uh, and I can keep saying this for like probably like 16 more times or 10 more times and probably Voltic would still be moving. Uh, he just gets a shit ton of turns in and that's why I hate this monster. This thing is AI for idiot proof. If this thing's move, you die. You die if you don't have any life runes. You die if like your setup is bad or anything like that. Or you're not yeah, you're not running any life runes. You're you're gambling on the idea that you are actually restrained it. If this thing gets a turn in, more often than not, you're dead. It, it's just the beginning of it, it's the it's the start of it and then it's the end of it. Because it gets multiple turns to do a shit. It's like a fucking Goku. Uh, he's gonna do 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 do. Uh, he's gonna whoop your ass so many times. He's gonna like. He's gonna be the flat. He's like the Flash and Goku combined. He's gonna whoop your ass. He's just gonna just gonna destroy your world. Uh, if he gets a move just once, he just needs one turn because he gets several turns after that. Uh, he gets he gets multiple turns. Uh, and you're probably saying, oh, Debbie's balance. He's uh his his most cost high stamina. People shove fucking stamina runes on it. Don't you dare say this monster is fucking balanced. Don't you dare say this move this monster is an okay mon. It's like not, it's not a broken monster. This monster is broken. This monster is AI idiot proof. It, there's literally it, literally any move it does, it's not the it's not the wrong move. It's literally an okay move to use because he gets he gets a bunch of moves. He gets a lot of turns in. He can do a lot of damage. Obviously, there's probably a combo rotation. It probably doesn't do the right combo rotations right, but it is pretty much AI idiot proof. It does a lot of damage. It does multiple turns. It gets to do whatever the fuck it wants. Uh, 
Don't you ever say this monster is balanced. It's not balanced. Uh, more people actually probably lose to this thing more than anything else in the game. It's just not a fair monster. And people use this monster. This monster is in every single fucking team comp. Uh, especially for high level players. You will see this fucking monster. You'll see this monster at 100 fucking 30. That's disgusting. That's literally, this thing will never be on my, if you if you ever watch any of my live streams, I literally say it, this thing will never be on my island. Even if it's free, even if I get it in an event, I'm going to straight up delete the egg. It's not a free monster. It's not a, it's not a, it's a, it's a sin to use. This monster is a sin to use. It's not a fun monster to use. It's, it's you might as well be playing, it's the same thing with Thedes. You might as well be playing the box. It's not fun to use. It's just multiple turns. You, you literally win the game. Do you really feel, do you really feel good about it? Do you? You literally won the game because, like, you get multiple turns in. The whole point of a turn system, like, granted, like, everything should at least maybe, like, you know, get a turn. Even if it's, like, it's stunned or something like that, at least it still gets its turn. Like, even though they don't get to do anything, it's still a turn-based thing. It's not defying the thing. And Voltic defies the whole fucking turn system. It, 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 like, denies, it, like, you literally fucks up the whole thing of the whole, like, the whole system of, you get, okay, I, I just moved... Uh, so you get to move. That's literally it breaks the reality of that. Uh, it just strays up. Extra turn moves are probably one of the best things in this game, and this thing has just a shit like a kit full of it, and it moves all the time. It doesn't stop moving. It does never stop moving. You might as well play the fucking Shrek song, uh, or like repeat that. Don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming because he won't stop coming because he's gonna be beating the shit out of you, <laughs> he's gonna, he's, he doesn't, he's gonna be, like, he destroys you, more often than not, he will destroy you, you'll never, you'll, you'll never go into a game where there's a Voltic on the enemy team, and you know you can't deny it, or something like that, or you're not able to restrain it right away, uh, you'll never do that, you'll never go into a game like that, you can go in the comments and be all like, ah, oh, damn, it's nothing too big, uh, he can be restrained, he's got, he's got a fucking negative 20%, Harden is not that bad. Well, when it when it actually don't actually miss that restraint, you're gonna be thinking the opposite. You're gonna be like, "Well, fuck, I lost the game." Well, guess what? You have lost the game. It is that is your that's the actual thought. Your thought of just like, "Oh shit, I missed my AOE. I could lose." No, you lost. You you lost because you know you didn't bring a life rune. You, no, nobody brings a life rune on their attacker. People bring a li like a speed rune on their attacker. Uh, because they think they get, oh, I can deny the monster, I can do this. Well, people walk around with this monster, and when they're surprised it's not frozen, it's like, oh, well, shit, I might as well sign my will. Because, yeah, you, you might as well, because it's de you're dead. You, lo you, lose the, you lose the match, because Voltic doesn't stop attacking. He'll kill your damage, that's what he'll do. Uh, so you don't have a life rune on your attacker. Hmm. Ah, oh, you're walking around with 27k. Ooh, <laughs> Voltic doesn't care. Voltic does a great deal of damage. Uh, Voltic will shred your shit. <laughs> Uh, especially if you're running around with a water attacker, he, he doesn't care. He doesn't care if your if your attacker doesn't have a life rune on, you're fucked. You're dead. You're you're dead. If you don't get rid of the if you're not faster than the Voltic, if you don't like get rid of him first, if you don't stun him first, you're dead. You, you only needs one turn to rest up everybody on your team. Uh, I've I, I've proof. I I literally have I've literally had games where he literally wrecked my shit. It's not an uncommon thing. You'll see that every fucking time in every fucking game. Uh, that people fight against them and they weren't able to deny them, they actually lose because they didn't deny them. They, they missed their deny. Uh, that's the problem with this monster. It's just, that's just the straight up, it's the beginning of it at the end of it. It's just broken. It's, you should be able to move. No monster should have the right to like just keep on moving, to just go against, it's pretty much going against reality. It's pretty much like, you know, like you have to, like some like you know, like let's say you have like the ability to teleport, and everyone has to walk. You're the only one that does this. You're the only person that does does this. You can teleport, and everyone else has to either walk or run. Uh, by the time they've walked several feet, you've literally walked. You literally just went around the whole world. You literally do that. That's literally Voltic's deal. He literally just defies the nature of the game, and those are the those are the worst kind of things that just defy the logic or just the the way things go in a game. Like uh, League of Legends, if you ever played League of Legends, Blitzcrank, he did, he pretty much fucks up a formation. He can take uh, he can take a person. He can literally grab someone, pull them to them, and their whole team can wail on them. They can literally do that. They can ruin formations. Uh, Street Fighter, Akuma, Akuma can spam all of his moves or something like that. I mean, like, he was, he's like a really broken character. Like, things that divide the logic of the game. Like, it can just chain or something like that, and it doesn't stop. Uh, that's why Voltic is my most hated monster in Monster Legends. He is not fair. He is not fair. I'll say this a thousand times. He's not fair. Go ahead and use, go ahead and use him if you love him. Uh, you know, don't, don't listen to what other people say. Uh, if you love him, use him. I, I, I in fact, yeah, use, use anything that you like, uh, is what I'm gonna say. Regardless if people don't like him, it's, regardless if people think it's shit or garbage, just use them. Use the things you like. Uh, 
But do know this monster. If you think this monster is balanced, he's not balanced. He he is totally not balanced. Do not do not tell me he is a balanced monster. If you tell me if he's a balanced monster, like genuinely and literally risky reasons why he's balanced, he's not balanced. You, you, most of the time, he's not balanced. He's totally not balanced. Uh, I know he he's not immune to stun. He's not immune to freeze. He's got twenty percent. I know it's a chance, but more often than not, it actually you know does go through. Uh, granted, nowadays I think he's easier to deal with. Uh, because you know like people are walking out walking around things nowadays with higher hit points or they're actually putting life runes on their mon like they're their attackers because there's demise now or they like there's like people are taking advantage of regeneration i think or like you know the you know people are walking around with like two deniers or something like that or just to ensure that they can actually you know trees and stun there's there's a lot of things nowadays that can counter voltic uh atlas is one of them for sure i kid you not uh you know like since you can do the double uh, double life thing and stuff like that, uh, and Juggernaut, if, uh, yeah, you know, Juggernaut and stuff like that, uh, you can literally keep everyone alive, you know, you could use, like, Demise, like, if the Demise does, like, the thingy, and then he want uh, you know, the, the, the prioritized move, and then Atlas does the, you know, Juggernaut, uh, Judgment and stuff, like, you know, the, the Juggernaut buff, uh, then he, he's forced to attack that thing, he's never gonna kill that thing, it, it might take him two turns, but he's not gonna kill it right away, um, that's Voltic's, that's really Voltic's real weakness really is tanking, but nobody ever tanks, nobody puts life runes on their monster, which is a really bad thing, you would think people would put life runes on their uh, attacker at least, at the very least their attacker, but they don't do that, no, they shove full speed runes, I mean they shove a speed rune on it, uh, and their support shove full speed runes too, like, or team, team speed runes, they don't have any life, they're not protecting themselves against, like, that sh stupid shit right there that just defied the re reality of the game. Uh... Yeah, and that's really it. That's all I have to say uh, about my top 10 least favorite monsters in Monster Legends. Uh, I'm going to probably do more of these videos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope you really enjoyed the video. I, I'm kind of exhausted from my, uh, you know, my excessive banter and stuff like that on my least favorite monsters. Uh, next uh, top 5 or 10 video will be about my uh, favorite monsters in Monster Legends, uh, and yeah, that's really all I have to say, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be awesome, I'll catch you guys later.